You and millions of other players around the world already know how it goes by now. In Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, aka PUBG, up to 100 players land on an island, scavenge for gear, and race against an ever closing circle to become the last one standing. PUBG is the game that kicked off the Battle Royale craze with its great semi realistic style of gameplay, and now that the Xbox One version is final and performs well, its excellent balance really shines through. With the 1.0 update that arrived last week, PUBG on Xbox One shakes off its janky reputation from the Xbox game preview version and is finally a solid version of the now second most popular Battle Royale shooter. Frame rate stutters a bit in the lobby area and during jumps, but other than that, it rarely has trouble holding 30 frames per second on a standard Xbox One, and connection problems or disconnects are rare. You can play in first or third person, which is a helpful distinction to keep things fair. And you pick between solo, duo, or full squads of four, all of which have very fun and very different styles. Compared to other Battle Royale shooters, specifically Fortnite, PUBG is a methodical and tactical experience. One that's as much about avoiding combat until you're sure you have the upper hand as it is about actually scoring kills. That makes the highs that much more exhilarating, but also the lows can be painfully boring, and you may go a long time without seeing anyone. But PUBG does a good job of keeping looting relevant late into a round by placing upgrades among the semi-randomly distributed weapons and gear, and airdropping powerful items that tempt you to expose yourself, so there's usually something to do. This slower pace means that there is a tough learning curve if you're not familiar with this type of shooter, especially considering that all three maps are drastically different from each other. The original map, Arangel, is still the best. It's a modern island full of small towns, a military base, multi-level prison, hospital, school, and more as its key landmarks. Then there's the worst of the bunch, the Miramar Desert Map. While it's actually the same overall size as Arangel, the desolate landscape and run-down aesthetic make it feel mostly empty. You can spot enemies running across the literal desert a mile away. That certainly increases the tension and anxiety since you always feel exposed, but it often winds up becoming a case of who finds the best randomly placed scope rather than actual skill in a firefight. The completely opposite end of the spectrum is the third and most recent map, Sanhok. It's a jungle environment full of lush greenery and tropical cabins that's precisely half the size of the other two. Within seconds of landing, you'll probably see someone, no matter how far removed you think you are from the plane's flight path. The downside is that the mad dash to find a gun at the start and take out your neighbors can often leave you feeling defenseless if you don't get lucky. Regardless of what map you're on, once the circle gets tight, everyone starts playing cautiously, since you can assume those left alive have just as much if not more firepower than you do. The tension of a PUBG match that only has 10 or 15 people left is palpable, making it addictive to watch and even more so to experience. PUBG also has an event pass that's awfully similar to Fortnite's Battle Pass, with cosmetic unlocks and tailored challenges, but here it feels like less of a good idea. It's tough to find a good reason to buy in since you already get so many random cosmetic items with the purchase of PUBG itself, and a paid pass and a paid for game just feels like double dipping. PUBG 1.0 on Xbox One runs smoothly, features three vastly different maps, and includes a ton of weapons, gear, and items to use in the deadliest online game. Its unique brand of tense, realistic shooting mixed with slow-paced tactical combat manages to stay fresh and exciting even after hundreds of matches. It makes coming back for another attempt at a chicken dinner victory hard to resist. For more on PUBG, check out our reviews of the PC version and the mobile version, and watch PlayerUnknown himself critique our play. And for everything else, stick with IGN.